Welcome everybody to our 11.56 kilowatt Tesla energy system we had installed in November and December of 2020. Very happy with the system overall. We've been pretty much fully off the grid. We sized it appropriately, so we shouldn't have any need for the grid in the future, even charging electric cars and living in central Florida heat, running the air conditioner and such. Hopefully you enjoy an overview of the system, a quick look at the app showing different features and options for using that and looking at different cool data. Take care. All right, quick tour of our Tesla energy system that we have set up uh, with our meter. And you've got the uh, Tesla gateway that controls the power flow from the solar, batteries, grid, also has an electronic transfer switch in the event of a power outage. That is what disconnects us from the grid, lets us operate independently. You've got your solar edge 10 kilowatt inverter, uh, which works with our 11.56 kilowatt hour uh, or kilowatt solar system up on the south and east sides of the roofs. We've got our founders uh, edition or Tesla referral award power wall here and we had purchased one other because you need two of these to um, run bigger appliances, charge electric vehicles uh, like the Model 3 as well as kick on uh, relatively large air conditioning units. You could get away with just one power wall to run a window AC unit, um, but we wanted the whole house backup, so we went with this arrangement. Um, we've had the system in since December 2020. It's now March 2021, and we've we've rarely pulled from the grid at all. Um, so happy to be operating independently. Next, we can jump over into the Tesla app to see how the system's performing with a live view. The yellow up top, you see the system's producing 8.6 kilowatts of power, a bit going into the house for consumption and the rest going back into the grid as the batteries have finished completely charging to 100% for the morning. Next shot, we have a graphical overview of how the system performed for a full day. That was today, March 7th, a perfectly sunny day. Nice arch for the solar's production, blue spike charging electric vehicle. You've got a bit of energy going back into the grid there as uh, color gray once the batteries had finished charging. And then a few blips uh, showing the house's energy consumption mostly highlighted in green as the batteries handle most of the home's uh, energy usage at night. Got a quick snap at the day. This is actually the best day we've ever had above 70 kilowatt hours. Pretty fabulous. You see that the house used 28.2. Uh, most of that was actually charging our Model 3 and almost 40 kilowatt hours going back into the grid. Over the course of the month so far, we've uh, vastly overproduced power, uh, a little bit over uh, twice the power produced than our home has consumed. Again, with a lot of that energy going into the electric vehicle. And over the course of the year, same thing. It's been a bit cooler here in Florida, so this makes a little bit more sense that we're able to be off grid, but it, it's certainly a fabulous feeling. We can see some other live shots of the app. This will just give you a good overview of all the different kind of pages and features you can look at. Uh, the app does a great job of, of showing you where energy is coming from, what your home is using, which is really interesting. It's generally pretty hard to have an idea of what different appliances uh, are consuming in your home, but the app is tracking that through the gateway. You can scroll over different periods, be it just days or weeks or months. I'll really track your performance and give you all the information that you'd like to see. Uh, we're super thrilled with our system. We're, we're pretty well fully off the grid except for a couple moments here or there, uh, which might just be the gateway not uh, picking up energy properly, um, but our system's well sized for the home and, and really neat. You can see a page here that shows where your different menus are, power flow, backup if we've lost power. Uh, this is 
performance indicator showing how the system's performed, what our solar offset is. Again, you can click over weeks, months, years, or lifetime. And most of the you know, energy consumption uh, happens during the day through the solar, but the, the, the big green marks there are just showing that energy is coming from the battery through the night uh, when the sun is not shining. Backup history, this will just track any moments where you've lost power. Uh, we actually had these power walls on a different home before, so um, there were some other periods of time where we lost power. Since we've been at our new home with our new system, we have not lost power except for some of the tests that Tesla does when they come out and install the system. Uh, but hopefully you like this quick overview, and uh, I think it's really awesome if more and more people start getting these systems. Thanks.